Hello, my name is Jamie Francis and I run Francis Media, I'm Francis Media ENT on YouTube. Um, I made an HDR video using the new Magic Lantern, well not new now, it's when it was, when it first was released last Christmas and uh, there was a few people that wanted to see a tutorial on how I did it and I know there's lots of tutorials online but this is just kind of the way that I do it. Um, uh, I'm just going to do a really quick tutorial. This shot I did a few weeks ago. Um, and here's what it looks like. So, with the, uh, with the Magic Lantern um, HDR setting, um, for this shot, I, I'm not totally sure the actual settings I had it on, but I, what, I'm guessing this would be ISO 100. Basically, the Magic Lantern gives you two options, uh, uh, or f to change the ISO every every frame from back and forth. So, on this shot, it would be an ISO 100. I believe that's what it was. And then on my on the second, the next frame, it my overexposed shot. Uh, I think it was ISO 400. It might have been 800, but I think it was 400. I might be wrong. I'm not too sure. 800 or 400 and basically this is what it looks like when played back kind of seizure-y um, but uh, so now with that um, this this shot is 30p um, so I have it this is full HD 30p there's a there's a problem with the end footage once you finish with the um, this type of shot uh, because It'll look a little sped up. It'll basically the um, the shot will end up being 15p, which is 15 frames a second. It's not quite what you want to do. You want to get it to at least 24 to make it look good. Um, but I'm gonna bypass that problem right now and maybe show you some um, tweaks you can do to make it look a little better um, after the fact. But for now, we'll just keep going um, let's make this a little bigger for you so you have this on one timeline the flickery footage you want to separate it you want to have the one that's technically the underexposed and then you want one whole video of the under or uh, overexposed frames and to do that it's pretty simple actually you want to get this one video you want to duplicate it either using control D or you can go edit duplicate I'm just gonna do that so now I have two of the exact same footage or the, of the clip and what you want to do now is with one of the video files it doesn't really matter which one you want to pull one over one frame don't move it like this just pull it over and then you want to right click you go to time and you want to time stretch it so we're gonna speed this up getting rid of all the frames we don't want and keeping all the uh, ones you want to keep so we're gonna double it up so we're gonna speed by 50 and then we're gonna do the exact same thing with the bottom uh, layer So now, if you solo the top one, it'll be all of the overexposed frames. And if you solo the bottom one, it'll be all the underexposed. I don't mind the actual underexposed shot. This is, uh, it's not quite underexposed enough, I think, for to util be utilized properly. And the top one, I think, is just a little bit too blown out. For my taste but you can just kind of work with it so now we have two separate shots what I'm gonna do is rename these just for ease um, to do that you just click on it and press enter and this is gonna be my overexposed and these are gonna be my underexposed so just to keep it know what you're doing so 
we're about halfway there. We've split up the two files. Or the one file into two files. Next part we're going to do is now we're going to key out the blown out parts of the image on the overexposed video. So we're just going to go into the effects search thing here and we're just going to look up chroma. Or no we're not. Luma. <laughs> Luma key. Put that over the overexposed and then I'll open this up a bit. Instead of keying out the darker, we're gonna go key out brighter because we want all these, all this part to go away. And this is just tweaking. This is all what you want to see. I'm gonna pull this up. And you can see now all the that stuff's coming up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it to about. there just see how this looks again it's just all like what you prefer what you want it to look like so right there it looks a little bit ghosty I think I don't really like that look so we'll bring it down a bit something like that things you got to work walk out look out for is it, the kind of globby parts like you, you can play here I'll play a little lower quality to see see how it kind of lumps around but I mean it is a water shot there's a lot of water in this thing so you can probably get away with it but we'll just keep that for now but again it's just all what you what you want to see you can see it kind of flicker here so we'll, let's bring that down there. that looks pretty good so that's the difference right now. Basically, we've we've brought in a little brighter here. But what I really wanted to do is keep a little bit of this mountain too, because if you go, it looks a little bit muddy. So what we're, I'm going to go back into this part and bring up the mountain. So that looks like garbage, or maybe you like it, I don't know. I don't, it's a little bit washed, like, looks very bright. So now, it's just all tweaking now, this is, this is kind of like the fun part. Um, staying with this part, I'm going to now add a curve to it. You just type in curves or curve, it's a kind of a color color correction type thing and you want it to you want to just kind of blend it a little bit better make it so it doesn't look so fake so I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it down a little bit and this is again just all what your preference just what you want want it to look like that's the that's us switching back and forth and then you can actually do that with the underexposed too put the curves in and tweak this maybe crush those clouds a little bit more I think that looks pretty neat actually play it back a little bit now this pro this shot is a, it's a tough shot for the HDR especially if you do shoot it in 1920, 1080p because as you you'll see in the finished product when I export this um, like there's kids here that are walking and they're gonna be they're gonna look a little sped up it's just not gonna look right you can even see it there a little bit and there's seagulls flying around here too that that are gonna be Kind of choppy the movement's gonna look choppy but other than that if you took away the seagulls and the kids you're not gonna see um a lot of weirdness so that's basically it um it's a little this is a pretty straightforward 
showing of what this can look like. Um, I'll put in the original shot just for show you what it looked like. Uh, that's what the original shot was, and that's the what I ended up tweaking it to. It's subtle, but it's not. I don't really like that hyper HDR look with everything's super contrasty. I kind of like just making it look as realistic as possible, but with it's a little glowy up here. It, I mean, it still looks a little stylized. But uh, yeah, I don't mind it. Yeah, so that's the final shot. Um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I, if you have any tutorials, like just check out my videos. All my stupid videos, just check them out. And if there's anything in there that you want to see, see like how I did it. I'm not claiming to be any kind of genius or anything. I, I just I just try to think of cool videos, cool things to do, and I just I just try them out. So it's a lot of trial and error going in a lot of this stuff. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.